morning. Time to go make a movie. With Babylon, I wanted to capture those early days of Hollywood in a really unvarnished, unsanitized way. It's the most magical place in the world. Kodak was an amazing partner, helping us shoot four perf 35 millimeter film and shoot the amount of film we needed to shoot for such an expansive epic. There's something magical to do a film about your own industry as well. And action. So Babylon had to be filmed. This business started on film. It felt like the only natural way to represent the spirit of who those people were. How they were making films was insane. Take two frames off the tail and three more off the head. Venus takes us on an incredible visual journey. I like to get what I get in camera. In Babylon, we didn't really follow any rules. We treated the film dramatically on day exteriors. I wanted to feel really deserty and pale, so I overexposed like three to four stops and push process. That treatment on digital camera would, would just look overexposed and bright. Shooting on film helps to make a more emotional connection with the audience. You gotta map those dreams onto celluloid and print them into history. Well, the hope was to make something that felt like a roller coaster filled with vivid characters, spectacle, excess, onto one panoramic canvas. At the end of the day, Kodak film just lent itself to that aesthetic. When I shoot on film, I kind of always know exactly how it's gonna look, and then when I get the dailies back, it's always a little better. Yeah! Oh yes, you'll never forget it. And cut. We got it. Yeah! When Damien and I started speaking about Babylon, I was very excited. And then I read the script, and I started feeling very afraid because it felt very daunting. We had talked about having it be about excess, and he really wanted the editing to support that. That meant that the editing would be overt, and it would be stylized. Our guiding principle in this movie was to demolish the expectations of a period piece and everywhere we can, cut against that. Take two frames off the tail and three more off the head. One scene that's gonna be extremely important is Nelly's first sound take. Sounds easy. <laughs> I think it will be. Part of the editing challenge was to set up the mechanics of what goes into doing a sound take. You have to introduce this new character, the sound engineer. Hey, what is that? the slate boy coming in. Scene 17, take one, Mark. The director calling action, giving screen direction. All these little fragments. Hello, Colin. What? And then try to create a rhythm with them. Mark. Action. Cut, Mr. Mark Nell. Action. Creating this feeling that would let the audience know that you were marching steadily toward something that was not a good outcome. Hello, Colin. No, you're Mark. Ah! Visual storytelling. That's something that Damien wanted to lean into, which is why it's a movie told with montages. Perfection. And cross-cutting. Cut! I've been very lucky to get to work with Damien and collaborate. Once he and I start working together in the editing room, a lot of these storyboard things really evolve and change quite a bit. We invent together in the cutting room. Eureka! Can be like nothing anyone's ever seen.